come to a speed traffic jam to see the wreckage along I-80, and again, we're between Newton and Colfax, and the, uh, dis the destruction really is just overwhelming. The State Patrol says there were 40 vehicles involved, mostly commercial trucks, and the most gut-wrenching pictures are those showing the State Patrol cars crushed underneath a tanker truck, uh, and that truck lost control on the ice. Now, luckily, the troopers were outside those patrol vehicles trying to help some other injured drivers uh, just ahead of those vehicles, and they were not injured. Now, they were standing right in the middle. We were standing, actually, right in the middle of the crash scene. We saw dozens of trucks jackknifed and mangled, uh, either, either on the interstate pavement or just in the ditch next to it. Now, several other passenger cars were also crushed underneath the truck. The State Patrol reports no one was killed, despite some early reports that several people had died, but there were some serious injuries and many less serious injuries to drivers uh, that were in this sort of whiteout uh, conditions, a lot of snow, icy roads, with vehicles coming over that hill, and they just couldn't really stop on eastbound I-80 once all this began. And sadly, most of the vehicles are commercial trucks in this crash, and that prompted a warning from the State Patrol. The ultimate factor here is that people are driving too fast for the conditions out here, and when they get going too fast, they are not able to react and brake in time, and that's what we see with these multi-vehicle collisions. And once again, we want to remind folks that uh, Interstate 80, just east of Colfax, has been shut down since noon today. State Patrol says they'll let us know when it's reopened, but again, travel's not advised because of the slippery conditions. The sun is out, but it's still very slippery, and there is some, also some drifting problems uh, with blowing snow here uh, near Colfax. We're live in Jasper County, Todd Maple, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Station. Nice work, Todd.